to my IDF editor and browse to my baseline file, not any of the previous ones I was working with, the baseline. And I'm going to save this file as a mixmode, mixmode.idf. And now in this file, you've already got your HVAC system. And you should probably have a um, cross-ventilation wind uh, system set up if your building has cross-ventilation. So you can see, for instance, I've got for Worcester 214 some openings on the west facade and the north facade. And they're scheduled to be always on between indoor temperature between 23 and 25. And I did this primarily so that I wouldn't have... Uh, the heating coming on when my windows were open. Now that I'm going to customize the schedules though, I can expand this range. I'm going to have this be 30 degree high and a 22 degree low. I'm going to do the same for this one, 22 and 30. And then I need to change this from always on to the natural ventilation schedule. And I'm going to do that for this window as well, natural ventilation schedule. And if you don't have uh, windows that are operable, then you can approximate this by using what's called an economizer. And the economizer would be traditionally um, the fans for your HVAC system would come on but not use the compressor or the coolant or the heating. So you've just got fresh air coming in. And it's a little bit less efficient. Obviously you're still using a fan, but the fan is uh, not using heating or cooling energy. It's just electricity. So you, uh, another way of approximating that is by using this exhaust ventilation object, and it, I can turn this one on to the natural ventilation schedule and use this at five air changes per hour. Um, I don't want to use that right now because I've already got my windows, so I'm going to stick with my windows. Um, so back to schedule. We want to create a slightly more complex schedule, and... This natural ventilation schedule already has some complexity into it, uh, uh, programmed into it. It says that it's a fraction, so it's going to give you a fraction of the opening area uh, from January 1st to April 1st for all days from midnight to 7 a.m. It's going to be zero, which is uh, going to multiply it by zero, which would result in a ventilation opening of zero. It's going to go from 7 a.m. to 10 p.m., one, which would result in a window opening of one times whatever your window opening is. Uh, in my case, I think it's three square meters, so it's going to be three square meters. And then from 10 to midnight, uh, zero again. And actually, if we look at that InDesign file here, we actually want these hours, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m., um, March 15th to May 15th, we want these hours here to be our hours of natural ventilation. So we kind of want to reverse the, the logic of the, this schedule here. So to program this, we'd say through March 15th for all days, um, we don't want any ventilation. So I can just go through and the easiest way is to program all three of these to zero. So we're good. So we'll just get heat during those times. And then um, through October 1st, now we actually want May 15th here. So I'm going to change this to May 15th for all days. Uh, and now we want it from um, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. So I'm going to change 7 to 8 and 22 to 18. And we don't want it from midnight to 8. We do from 8 to 6 or 18. And then we don't from don't want any ventilation from 6 p.m. to midnight. So I'm gonna that'll be zero. So now we've programmed in that first range. For the second range, we want it to be September 1st. Between May and September 1st, we don't want any ventilation. So we're going to set these all to be zero, which they are already set for. And then from September 1st through 
October 15th, we want for all days until 8 a.m. 0 and then until or 6 p.m. 18 o'clock we want ventilation and then until mid, uh, midnight 24 we want 0 again and then finally don't forget you always have to finish at December 31st so December 31st for all days uh, until and now we can just uh, put actually I'll copy this one until midnight we want zero all right so that is the schedule for natural ventilation that's there and I might also want to um, change my heating and cooling schedule accordingly so that I don't get heating and cooling during the times when I do have my ventilation schedule.